Hey guys, and welcome to Game Gango, the video series where we learn Japanese through video games. In this episode, we're now finally making our way into the Maker Reactor on our way down to the core. So, let's get the video started. しめろ。こっちの あ、<笑> ティファの知り合いでしょ好奇心抜き出しで聞くけどどんな知り合いあ、クラウドまた無視した Okay, so we're now making our way into the Maker Reactor, but we just have this door that's in our way that we need to get into. So right now, Biggs is working away, hacking away at the computers, and Jesse says to Cloud, wait, because Biggs is about to open the door. So if we have a look at the language, it's Matete, ima Biggs ga tobira o akeru kara. And so this language, if we have a look at Matete, means Matsu, to wait, but we have this second te, a little bit strange. Usually it's just mate, right? But mate te is actually the continuous form of matsu. So mate, mate iru, mate te. And so here, mate te is just reduced down to mate te. So it's saying you have mate, wait, but then you have mate te, which means wait and continue waiting. And then next we have ima, which means right now, bigzu, bigs ga, tobira o akeru kara. So, tobira is like a door, right? Tobira, a door or a gate. Then we have tobira o akeru, which means to open. So, to open the door, tobira o akeru. And then we have, lastly, kara. Now, kara has a lot of different meanings, but in this context, it just means cause or because. So, because he's just about to open the door, please wait. Matete, ima bigzu ga tobira o akeru kara. Seikasu na yo. And then next he says hoi rokkaijo. So hoi is kind of like saying all right or yeah or heave ho. <laughs> I've never used that in English but that's what it means. And then we have rokkaijo. Now this is actually really interesting because in the original Final Fantasy there was also a similar piece of language used. Instead of rokkaijo it was kodo kaijo. So if you remember that scene where there's those buttons and Biggs goes bang right? It goes bang. That scene is this scene but in the remake so roku kaijo kodo kaijo it means doors released so roku is rock and then kaijo means to release something or to cancel something so he's released the lock of the doors okay and next some very short ones thanks to the guards so we have dare da so dare is who and then this da is being used as a question so Da means it is, right? But they're using it as a question, like covered previously in, I think, episode one. So, da-da-da, who goes there? And then, shimero, 
Now, shimero is shimeru, to close. So you could have something open, akeru, and then shimeru, right, the door. And so he's telling the guard, close the door. Shimeru, shimero, the order form of shimeru. Okay, so Cloud is now trapped in this room with these two guards, and the guards say to him, Kannen shiro. Now, kannen in this context means to be prepared for something, to resign yourself to something. What is he resigning himself to? Defeat. So they're telling him to get ready for defeat, or give it up, it's over. And so Cloud responds with, Kochi no serifu da. Now, kochi means kind of here. Right? But you can also use it as saying me, right? So, kochi no serifu means my serifu. And serifu is one's lines, right? One's lines in a play. That's a common expression in English. Hey, that's my line. Well, that's what Cloud is saying. He's saying, hey, hey, that's, that's my line. I should be telling you to get ready for defeat. <laughs> All right, so Cloud makes very quick work of those two guards. And Jesse says, omatase. Now this is actually a really common and useful expression that you can use in real life and it means sorry to keep you waiting. So o is a kind of honorific uh, thing that you put in front of words when you want to be respectful and then you have matase. Now matase means to make or to keep someone waiting. And so she's saying honorific keep you waiting, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. And so this is a really common expression. If you ever leave someone waiting, if you ever keep someone waiting, you can say omatase. Very useful language. And then next, Cloud responds with sasato ikuzo. So sasato means quickly, promptly, immediately, ikuzo, let's go. And so the translation, let's get out of here quickly, or let's move, is really spot on. Okay, so thank you to Jesse. We now have a very big sentence to look at. So, passcode no jōhō wa bunpa no doshi ga te ni iretta no. And so, this sentence is saying that one of our fellow branch members have obtained information about the passcodes. So, passcode no jōhō, that's information about the passcodes. Jōhō is information or news. It's really common word. And then we have bunpa no doshi. Now, bumpa is kind of a faction, a branch, or a sect of a, of a larger group. And then we have doshi, which means a comrade. So she's saying that kind of fellow people from the sect or from the branch have obtained te ni ireta. So te, right, your hand, and then ireta means you get something. So te ni ireta means you obtained it in your hand. So this is a very common expression, especially in uh, video games when you obtain an item, you would say te ni ireta. And so then we have no. Now this no is kind of a feminine particle. So we've seen so many uses of no already, right? We've seen the possessive no, we've seen the question no. It's a really common particle. In this sentence, it's being used in a feminine way. And so if you're wanting to sound feminine, you would use this no to kind of add some emotional emphasis at the end of the sentence. It felt a little bit weird for me to use it. I've never actually used it before um, because I don't usually speak in that way. Uh. Right, so continuing on with Jessie's story, she says, So let's look at the first part. And so, bumpa, we just covered. So here, and then questioning. So she's actually kind of realizing, actually, we're the splinter, we're the faction from the larger group. So, katsudo means activity. Hōshin is like a policy or a course, and so it could be, for example, a course of action or a policy of action. Katsudo hōshin de, so by or with that course of action. Mome chatte, so mome chao means to uh, get into some sort of argument. Momeru, and then we have chao, so that's te shimau, and that means to kind of do something accidentally or do something regrettably in this context. So, bumpo wa kochika. Actually, I guess we're the branch. We had a disagreement about policy of action with HQ. Now, this is really interesting because she never mentions HQ. And it's the same thing with the English translation. They used command, but they never actually mention that in the Japanese. You're just supposed to get that from the context of the fact that she's realizing that actually she's a branch of the larger group. She is the Bumpa. <laughs> All right, and so Biggs is giving Jesse some kind of friendly encouragement, and he says, Kihateke. And so that means brace yourself or be careful. So the actual word he used is ki o haru. 
Now that means to brace oneself, right? But he doesn't use the o, and that's actually because in certain dialects they get rid of the o and they lengthen the e of ki. Now it's just with this uh, word, the ki o something, they will use that. So for example, in the Kyoto or the Kansai Ben, the Kansai dialect, they will actually, instead of saying kiotsukete, they'll say kitsukete. And so this is showing that he has that kind of personality, whether it's a Kansai personality or a country personality, something like that. That's what they're trying to show with him using this language. And so some examples of how you could use this, you have kiotsukete, kiotsukeru means kitsukeru take care, or to brace oneself, kiyoharu, kiharu, or to care about something, kiyotsukau, kitsukau. So it's really interesting how there's different dialects and they use language in different ways and they're trying to show that into Biggs's personality, they're trying to give a little bit of flavor. Right, so back to Barrett's lectures, and he says, And that means, from here on, security is going to be a lot more strict, so don't screw up. Kokara, from here, kokokara, from here. Saki is ahead, so from here to ahead, from here onwards. Keikai ga. Keikai is the level of alertness or the vigilance precaution, so the guards are going to be high in alertness. Sarani Genju. Sarani means even more Genju, which means strict or kind of strong. So security is going to be even more strict. Keikai ga Sarani Genju da. Hema sunnayo. Don't screw up. Great. So the next one is really short and simple. We have Erebeta Shitani Chateru. So it looks like the elevator's gone down or the elevator is all the way down. So let's have a look at the language. Erebeta is just Japanese katakana for elevator. Then we have shita ni. So we already looked at ue ni, that's up. This time shita ni, which means down or below, ichatteiru. So we have iku in the chao teshimao form. And so we previously had a look at how this chao can show that you're doing something accidentally or you're doing something regretfully, but it can also mean to do something completely or to finish doing something. So it has these two uses. And in this way, it's using that first use to do something completely. So she's saying the elevator has completely gone down. Shita ni ichateiru. And it's in the continuous form because it's currently doing that, right? It's currently down. And so because she wants that elevator to come up, she says, hey cloud, push that button. So soko no botan oshite. So soko is there. Soko no botan, button, <laughs> and then we have oshite, which is osu, to press something, osu. It can mean to press or to push. And so she has it in the te form, which is actually kind of asking him to do something. So if she was wanting to be really polite, she could say oshite kudasai, but she's just getting rid of the polite kudasai and keeping it in the request form. Oshite, so please, or can you push that button for me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so now we're starting to see more of Jessie's inquisitive personality. She's very curious about Cloud, and so she says, Tifa no shiriai desho? And so she's trying to find out, hey, you're a friend of Tifa's, right? And so Tifa, Tifa no shiriai, and shiriai just means acquaintance. And then desho, as we covered previously with daro, daro, desho just means right? And so you're an acquaintance of Tifa, right? Tifa no shiriai desho. <laughs> and she's pressing further and further, and she says, And so she's saying that she's asking with blunt or really open curiosity, but what kind of acquaintance, right? And so, kokishin means curiosity. Kokishin means you're curious, and then mukidashi means just frank, open, really bluntly. So she's with really open curiosity kokishin mukidashi de kiku kedo so kiku you may have learned in like a textbook means to listen all right but in this context it's actually saying to ask so it has another meaning to ask so she's asking with open curiosity kedo so although or but donna shiriai 
So donna means what kind of shiriai. So you could say donna pizza tabetai. <laughs> what kind of pizza do I want to eat? Donna shiriai. What kind of friend? Is it more than friends maybe? So she's trying to get that information from Cloud. Alright, so now we have a flashback from Cloud's past and I can feel the tingles with the music. Ah, that music's so good. And so here we can actually see a little small cute Tifa and she says to Cloud, Hey Cloud, hey are you ignoring me again? So, mata mushishita. So, mata means again. Now, there is a kanji there that you may or may not recognize. It's, it's quite a rare kanji and so you may not need to know this kanji but maybe you're interested. Mata, again. Mushista. Mushisuru means to ignore someone uh, or to disregard someone. So she's saying, hey, are you ignoring me again? Hmm. Okay, so the piece of grammar that we're going to be looking at for this episode is teshimau or chao. Now we've already seen it twice in this episode, so it's a really useful piece of language to look at. And it means to do something accidentally or do something regretfully. Or it means to completely do something, to finish doing something. So let's have a look at how you can create it. So it's the verb te form, so tabete, and then shimau. Tabete shimau. I accidentally ate it all. Tabete shimaimasu. So it means you could have the polite form, or you could have shimatta, the past form. Then we have chao, which is the casual form of te shimau. So tabete shimau is kind of polite. You could just say tabe chao which means the same thing, but casual. And so to do this, you have the te form, and then you just drop the te and put chao there. Or if you have the de, you drop the de, and then you have jao. So if we have a look at some of the examples, we have elevator, shita ni ichatte iru. And so we have iku, ichatte iru, which means it's currently completely all the way down. Then next we have bunpo wa kochi ka, katsudo hoshin de mome chatte. And so now this is the second type to say that you're doing something accidentally or regretfully. So she's in an argument or they're in an argument or a fight with uh, the main group. And then lastly, we have a sentence here that's not actually from the episode, but it's a really interesting way of looking at how this teshimao can be used in two different ways. So with this one sentence using both meanings. So, ore wa osake wo nonde shimatta, which means I completely finished drinking the alcohol, the sake, right? Non de shimatta. But it can also mean that I drank it in a regretful way. I shouldn't have done it, right? I feel bad about it. So, oh, non de shimatta, right? And so the way that you actually use it can change uh, the meaning of this word. And so this, you may have heard, shimatta, right? And that means, ah, oh, crap, <laughs> right? Ah, oh, shimatta. And so this is kind of where it comes from, to say, oh, I did something without meaning to, right? Ah, shimatta. So really useful and interesting language. So onto the review for this episode, starting off with ima, now, ima. Tobira, the door, tobira. Akeru, to open the door, akeru. Kara, because or since, kara. Sekasu, to hurry someone up, sekasu, sekasu na yo. Hoi, heave ho, or yeah. Hoi. Rokku, a lock. Rokku. Kaijo, which means to release something, to cancel something. Rokku, kaijo, to release the lock. Dare, who? Dare. Dr. Dare. <laughs> uh, shimeru, means to close something. So, akeru, shimeru. Kannen, so to be prepared for something, to be accepting something. Kannen. Serifu, one's lines. Serifu. Matasu. To keep someone waiting, matasu. Sasato, or sasa, to promptly do something, to quickly do something without delay. Sasato ike. Passcode, passcode. Passcode. Joho, information or news. Joho. Bumpa, the faction or the branch of something, of a group. Bumpa. Doshi kind of your comrades, your fellow group members. So similar to nakama, doshi. Te ni ireru. Te ni ireru. To obtain something. Te ni ireru. 
no. So this is the feminine sentence ending particle showing emphasis. No. Katsudo, so an activity or an action. Katsudo. Hōshin, a policy or a course. Hōshin. Momeru, to disagree. Momeru, to disagree or to fight over something. Momeru. Okay, and onto the next page we have te shimau or chao, to do something completely or to do something accidentally. Then we have kiyo haru, means to brace oneself. Kiyo haru. Kokkara, kokkara, from here on. Saki, ahead. Saki. Keikai, your vigilance or your preparedness, your precaution. Keikai, alertness. Sarani, even more than right now. Sarani. Hema, to screw up, make a blunder. Hema. Genju, be strict or severe. Genju. Erebeta, an elevator. Erebeta. Shita, so below, down. Shita. Soko, that place. Soko. Botan, a button. Osu, to press something. Osu. Shirii, an acquaintance. Shirii. Desho, right? Desho. Kōkishin, curiosity. Kōkishin. Mukidashi, so frank, open. Kōkishin mukidashi, open curiosity. Kiku, to ask or to listen. Kiku. Kedo, but, however. Kedo. Donna, what kind of? Donna. Mata, again. Mata. And mushi, to ignore or to disregard something. Mushi. Okay, very, very, very good job, everyone. That was a big review. Now on to the battle stage. Good luck. どうしら手に入れたの。ここから先は警戒がさらに厳重だ。エレベーター下に行っちゃってる。そこのボタンを押して。知り合いでしょ。好奇心むき出しで聞くけど。
Congratulations, you have now finished episode 6 of Game Gango. So, you've almost learned 200 words. So hopefully, no matter what level you are, you've learned some new language from this episode. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please feel free to leave a comment down below showing your quiz results or any kind of comment at all about the video. Please feel free to share, like, and subscribe if you want to see more. It helps me know if you want more. So, thank you very much for watching. See ya.